All right, we're working on a clear mega save one, which kind of a prehistoric furnace. It has a vented venter draft motor on it. It is high efficiency. I don't know if it's got a pilot or not. Uh, long and short of it is, we're not going to deal with all that anymore. What we've done is we've bought a kit. The kit is a Honeywell. 86-100. We had to buy a pilot assembly because that didn't really come with it. And then some pilot tubing. So that we could put this all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you watch as I'm putting this together. Um, these are things that if your gas valves real old and or you want to convert to an electronic spark system, these are very reliable. All right, inside that Honeywell kit, you're going to find you're going to have a spark ignition module. You're going to have an adapter. This is so that you can, on this side, if you need a three quarter inch, you could screw this on. That's half inch. This would make it so it's three quarter inch. This is some spark um, igniter so that you can use your existing pilot. They have some reducers. This is the wiring to go from the gas valve to the to the uh, module. Some safety stickers, LP kit to convert it, and this is just some mounting material and uh, wire nuts. For We're going to connect. disconnect this pile assembly first off. This is what I was talking about where it's got these three pins and this is a mercury switch in there. There, let's connect the pilot. Always use a crescent wrench because, all right, what I was saying was this, you don't want to use, these are many channel locks, and you don't want to use these because it'll, you can strip the nuts, and that just is a real big pain. pile assembly is out of there. If you look, there's different ones. That's a qu quarter inch. This is three eighths. You will feel as you tighten it, I can just feel that nut. There's a, on the end of it, there's a little ferrule nut and I can just feel that break in there and starting to tighten up, so. All right, we got the gas valve on there. We've bent the tubing around. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to push that down in there. And get this nut started just a little bit first and so you got it by hand. If you do not get it going by hand you will live to regret it because you will be buying another gas valve because you will strip the gas valve. Now, one thing I did forget to do was push on the spark plug wire so it is now on there. Then this way will run back down the tubing. Oops. Run back down the tubing. There okay. is the MMV, MVPV, and again all these wires are marked. And then all the way over to the spark wire. Now I'm going to clean these up a minute, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And that's what lights the pilot. Pilot lights, senses, spark stop, and gas comes on, and you get good flame. Pilot kicked out, everything's heating up. We did uh, tidy up the wires, put the safety controls back in there, and that is it. Everything works like it should.